Well, good evening. We, uh, unfortunately, the six liter is now broke down. Um, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown. I, I missed an opportunity. I could have got the video of uh, pulling it back with a Ranger. <laughs> when it broke down, I was on my way back from lunch. Um, and the truck quit. And uh, I haven't quite determined what exactly has gone wrong here. The truck picked up a miss. And uh, I'm looking so I'm looking around here because I did order one part and go ahead and put that in earlier. What a pain in the butt. Um, the truck did pick up a miss and I'm not exactly sure where what caused the miss as far as why. Um, but I did get, I put a crank position sensor in it. Um, it had a code in there. Um, there was no RPM. So I did go ahead. I pulled the codes the other day. So I had, uh, had a whole list of codes in it. Of course, some of these are other codes, um, that I kind of expected, but I'll go ahead and show you here. So, you can see the cylinder one and cylinder two. These explain the misfire that I had. Um, and then a random misfire code that showed up in it. That's interestingly enough. Um, and then this is signal output circuit open the crank position. That's 2617. Um, so, I just went ahead and did that. Um, just to, Now, this cylinder eight glow plug has been there. The fuel level sensor is faulty. I already know that. And of course, there's no EGR on the truck, so these codes are in there. Um, excuse me. So that's that was the other day. Um, fuel sender, faulty overhead control, transfer case differential lockup solenoid. See, I didn't didn't actually go through the rest of these, but uh, basically these were my main concerns. Um, and the truck did quit running on me. It it picked up a miss Sunday, actually. I towed the camper home, and uh, it had picked up a miss. A slight miss. I, I wouldn't even have called it that severe. I, I figured maybe an injector had an issue, dirt, something minor. Um, so I put the crank position sensor in it, but the voltage was low, and it didn't want to crank. Of course, it's sitting outside in the cold. And, uh, I didn't want to try to mess with it, so I put the battery charger on it and went home. So, now I'm back down here, and I'm going to try to get this thing maybe fired up or determine what is going on. Um, it did have ICP pressure, um, when I was cranking the duty cycle on the IPR was like a 55% seems a little strange um so i may have an o-ring issue inside the injection system here but i won't know um so i'm gonna hook the scan tool up and go through it so i just want to see what happens here Lost pressure really quickly. Took a minute for it to build. It tries to run. Let me cycle it for the glow plugs here. This thing's gonna say that I no communication. Glow plugs are cycling and they're off. This is how it started the other day. Okay. So right here, right here is an issue. I got it running and started. We got 1370 on the ICP. That pressure regulator is way high. So I get 
back here and look here. It was way up there. So let me back up. Wait a minute. Went back into the wrong thing here. Two months in, about two months in, and it looks like we're gonna pull the top of this murder apart. The valve covers and all the injection system, we're gonna go through it all. I'm not uh, not exactly tickled about that, but stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna tear the top of this apart and we'll see what we can find.